Okay, time warp. I obviously have some unfinished business here. We were kind of playing both cards. Sketchy was trying to discredit females in the industry entirely. The fact that people were nervous because a bunch of girls got together and hung out. He's talking about you. Sketchy likes to believe that I was part of the Girl Alliance, but I just wasn't scared of it. Mike's a hard dude to read, like, you know, he's he's pretty mild-mannered and, and pretty soft-spoken, so he's kind of hard to read. Throughout my life, I've been like this, so it's worked out. Why wouldn't it work out in a competition? Looking back at the season after watching it, it's, it was a lot different than when I was living it. And in my head, I was doing pretty bad. I didn't win any flash challenges. I didn't win any tattoos of the day. I felt like certain people were coming after me. I was totally ready to tattoo. I definitely wasn't ready to be roommates with people. Let other Nikki. people talk, Nikki. All right, go Shut ahead. Shut the f up and let people talk. I was not surprised that there was somebody in the house acting the way Sketchy did. I'm telling you right now, you got to cut the head off this You guys need to win this next skull pick, man. Well, Nikki is the first person I'm giving the skull to. She's going to get rattled, and she might even quit right there and then. You get inside some heads, dude. That'll f them up. A couple weeks in, we started realizing that the girls were coming together with some sort of an alliance. I think we can give the boys a run for their money. There has to be at least one of us that makes it to the end. I want a girl to win this year. There's power in numbers, and this is a hard fight for one of us. But if we all stick together, we're that talented, and the men are so threatened by us because they're insecure. We must be a threat to them. They should be afraid. If there were alliances and the guys were supposed to have one, Mike wasn't on the guys a lot. I just found out that you girls are being gunned for. The paranoia is getting a little bit high. Some dudes, when there's strong women around, they get a little insecure. But I'm not worried about that. I honestly didn't care about the girls' alliance at all because what are they going to do? They were all on opposite teams too, so I, you know, it didn't bother me at all. They're walking around saying how much harder it is for a girl to be a successful tattooer. This ain't 1950. Or 1990. Yeah, it ain't like that no more. But you shouldn't say like that. Well, I'm not out of line by saying that. But I've seen it. When a girl apprentice comes in, I see everybody sitting around, you know, they talk. It's a bunch of talking, and I think that's where they all come from. Me and Mike didn't have issues um, until the fact that I just started seeing him not playing as favors to the guys as he was to the girls. I'm over the head games, man. I'm over living in this weird situation and sitting in the house full of people that want to argue about dumb I was on the bottom for the head-to-head -head tattoos with Sketchy. I think I'll probably go home today. Why say probably you? Because it lost twice on technical things. Me too. We're in the same boat, bro. Mike has two mediocre tattoos. The judges have decided, Mike, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I got sent home, and then a week later, he quits. I'm done with this game. I'm walking the up out of here, and I've had enough of this bull. I took my shot. I'm over being shot at. I'm going out like a G. When I heard about it, I was like, dude, why didn't you just quit when we were on the bottom together? I could have been saved and maybe gone on and done something better. The G is back. I mean, you did walk off, and now you brought yourself back. I felt like a samurai that fell on his own sword. The honorable thing to do would have just been to stay to the end. That's how I feel about it. Here I am. Let's pick up where I left off, starting with you.